there's no getting away from it. Easter is huge. It's a big deal. So, let's start with what we know. We know that about 2,000 years ago, there was a guy named Jesus. We know he lived in Israel and he died in Jerusalem. Fake news? No. Historical fact. The real question is not whether he was, but who he is. And for Christians, the most important demonstration of who he is is celebrated at Easter. We believe he died on the cross and then rose from the dead. We believe he is the Son of God. Yeah, really. The actual Son of God, which also makes him God. Told you it was a big deal. Why are we so confident that he actually rose? Well, here's four reasons. For starters, Jesus' disciples were not expecting it. When they found out that Jesus' tomb was empty, they were completely surprised. For them, Jesus was not supposed to die in the first place, and his resurrection was totally unexpected. But the bigger shock was Jesus turning up in a locked room, or on the beach, or on one occasion to 500 people. Scripture tells us lots of different people saw Jesus, ate with him, and some touched his wounds, which is a bit gross, but quite compelling. Three, suddenly Old Testament scriptures, that massive first chunk of the Bible, those bits that previously didn't really make sense, now made a new kind of sense. God's promises became more real than anyone expected. Something new was happening. Something that could only make sense once it had happened. A man was dead. Then he was alive. That's not supposed to happen. We know that. But the people who had seen Jesus after Good Friday, after the day of limbo on Saturday... They were so convinced of his resurrection that they were prepared to die rather than deny it happened. So, just pause for a moment and ask yourself what you'd be prepared to die for. What fact or person or event would it take for you to give up your own life? I'll leave that with you. But while you think hard about what it might be, know this. Jesus knew the answer. He knew exactly who and what he was prepared to die for. You and me. He died so that we could know God's extravagant, abundant, infinite, crazy love for us. A love we never have to earn because it is God's gift.